This is bulbs of Payawan Jung Nang Lady Enchantment Herbs Very difficult to find This is Ply Dam Root Which is also very difficult to find Will make the earth go very black when it's planted The earth is used for making of Kun Pan amulets Believe it or not And then this root is of course also used Not only for magical Meta Mahasane oils But also by the traditional Thai massage community For massaging, making a yellow oil which is called ply oil. Yeah, this is not pry. It is ply. Ply. It's a different name, and people confuse it. Ply dam is the name of the plant, but people use it to make naman pry, and then end up calling it naman ply. Naman ply is known for massage, but in fact, the ply dam root does have magical and mahasane properties. So both are true. They're interconnected and they're a little bit interconfused, the two stories of pry and ply. I will explain more about this in later episodes of my publications. This one I particularly like a lot. We've already planted one in here. I'm going to be using some for Muan San to make amulets and these one I want to plant to try and have eventually a continuous supply. This is Shang Bazon Klong, mating elephant in heat, I like to call it herb. Also used in Mahasane magic. These are particularly like. They are some kind of nut. And they're called Pajao Bha Pa Ong, which means the five Buddhas. Referring to the five Gyani Buddhas and the Kata Natmo Putaya. These will be ground up into Muan San. Some of them have been made with a key ring on and will be distributed to some of the people who buy amulets from my store and the odd looks it of people who I consider friends and who ask me for assistance. This lastly I would like to show is, or second to last, is the Payawan Dok Tong when you plant this, this will make the very famous and very rare I don't know how I got so many of these, I hope I can plant some and make them grow they're a rare forest flower which renders only one golden flower per plant per year and this flower and its aroma is considered to be extremely not only rare but powerful Mahasane magic for enchantment this particular variety is Dok Tong Muang if I scratched it here, I don't want to, you would see a, a purpley tone inside. So it's an even rarer variety than the normal dot tong. Lastly, I'll show you this, which is a hard pack. It's very, it's like, feels like steel wire to be honest. It's called Kia Tao Long, and it is a vine-like parasite plant that wraps itself around other trees in the deep forest. Long means to lose one way or to become fascinated with or infatuated with. So they said that when these were around in the jungle people would get lost and can't find their way home. Uh, it is used as a mahasana in one time ingredient to induce infatuation and love in the hearts of others. Very very rare, very very powerful and only ever found available in very small amounts. This is going to be going in amulets in uh, meta oils and mahasana most definitely. It is the most excellent one sad, along with my other favorite here, the dog tong flower. So that was currently the latest moonsan I have obtained in the last two days, some of which will be used for moonsan in the minutes and the rest will be planted for the making of my magical herb garden as an informative living museum piece in the ashram under the Buddha Magic Project and within the Sakyan Foundation. More news on that as it progresses. So this is Sunny Jan Kao. If you can see the stem, of course, the stem is white. The leaf is green. These herbs do not flower. When I first found out about them, and this is Sane Jandang. 
and as you can see it's identical to the Sane Jan Kao if perhaps the leaf is a bit greener but that might not always be the case but if you see the stalk of them you can see they are red and this one is thus called Sane Jandang Sane means enchantment or charm attraction Jan means moon Dang means red, which is where it gets the stog, is where it gets the red name from. So, red moon charm herb. And this having a white stem. And you can see the stem in the middle has more visible white, whereas the Sanejan Dang does not have a red line down the middle. Whereas the white ones tend to have a bit more white down the middle. The stalks are white, the red ones are red. And that's how you differentiate. The interesting bit of these is the root. The leaves are good, but what is really useful for one so I'm making is the root here. This piece. Yeah, this piece here, which is pulled out. And those roots can be boiled or burned or both burned and ground into powders, dried and boiled as meta oils and pry oils. So that was the two of the many herbs I'm now collecting for the informative magical herb garden when the ashram comes later this year. Hope you enjoyed that. This one here is by Nanguak, Nanguak herb.